Hey guys, it's Adam here, your Northern Tech, and today I want to show a video on how to install Vocoder on your Magix Music Maker version 17 all the way up to 2014. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so you have your audio track, you really want to auto tune it with the Vocoder. You've probably seen the video on my Vlog and Life channel. A lot of people keep asking me, where do you get Vocoder from? I don't have it with mine. Okay, Magic stopped including Vocoder since Magic's Music Maker 20, uh, version 16. And the only way you can get it now is you have to download it. So to download the Vocoder, go over here to your help menu. This is a fresh install, people. There's nothing added on to this. I just installed it to show how to do this, okay? So you click on help. And you go over here to the uh, update program, update functions. Go down here to download free synthesizers and sound packets. Give it a second for the little whirly bird thing to go along here. And it'll produce this menu here. They have sound pools, demo songs, synthesizer effects, Vita 2, Vita rock drums, all this crap. The vocoder is actually in synthesizer and effects. You can see here you have Atmos, Livid, and vocoder. This is the one you want. I'm going to go ahead and download all what I need. And we'll let that download and come right back once it's done. All right, guys, we are back. I did a little recording here for um, something to dick around with. All the updates are installed. And, uh, well, we got a couple more packs on the side here of, uh, of uh, beats and things. But uh, the best is to reboot, I guess, restart the program. But this is what I made for funsies. Testing out my audio, gonna see if I can fucking auto-tune. Testing out my audio, gonna see if I can fucking auto-tune. Okay, so, to get to the vocoder, just like on the other one, yeah, click on the down arrow. You go to audio effects and now you will have the vocoder in here. No, you don't. Okay, so we are going to have to close and reopen this program. So we'll do that now. Boom shakalaka. Save it. We'll call it auto tune and then we will come back to it here in a second. Boom. Okay, so let's reopen the auto tune. And we'll click here, and now we should have the vocoder, and I have no idea why it's not showing up. Did they move it? Alright, I gotta figure this out. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Um, I've done a little bit of research trying to figure out where the frig the vocoder option is. I thought maybe it'd be in here under effects, but even under vocal recordings, there's only some quick effects. Um, normally it's right here you click on this down arrow go over here to audio effects and it'll show up in here but after doing some research i found out that the version of magic's music maker that i have which is like the cheapest model out there um it doesn't support the vocoder plugin so this is probably the reason why a lot of you are having problems finding the vocoder plugin so what I'm going to do instead of using vocoder is I bought this program a long time ago and uh, basically here I'll show you how I got here. So if you click on the down arrow and go over to object effect rack it brings up this object effect rack. Now from here you can do a lot of crazy stuff like your equalizer, your reverb, your delay, compressor, time processor. I don't know what half this stuff does, to be honest with you. I am not a musician. I am not a freaking Skrillex uh, dubstep creator or anything. I like to figure around with this and add some loops in and make some music for my own YouTubes. So, you know, a lot of people have mentioned in the past, Oh, you don't even know what the hell you're talking about with music and stuff. Well, no, I'm not a musician. I actually have money. I'm not broke. I'm sorry. But... I can do some simple stuff with this and make some music for my YouTube videos. That's enough for me. But anyway, enough of that bullshit. Basically, the program I got, it's called the T-Pain Effect. I just want to make sure that vocoder doesn't show up in here anywhere. Uh, no. And Magic Plugins. See, it doesn't even show up in here. Even though I totally did download it and install it, it doesn't show up. So, 
Anyway, we'll go to the T-Pain effect, and there it is right here. The T-Pain effect, people, this is by far the easiest way to auto-tune. You go into your key, choose whatever key you're singing in, we'll just go D for funsies, and then you choose chromatic, I don't even know what half this crap means, chromatic major minor. I, like I said, not a musician. We'll just choose chromatic for funsies, and um, yeah, this is what we end up with. Alrighty, we're gonna do a little audio playback and see if this motherfucker wants to auto-tune and shit with the vocoder. So it's not as auto-tuned as we like. Let's try it on the major scale. Alrighty, we're gonna do a little audio playback and see if this motherfucker wants to auto-tune and shit with the vocoder. So you can hear a little bit of auto-tune in there. Um, you can also, you know, if you want to give it that real, I don't know, frig well, add a little reverb to it and see what it sounds like. Alrighty, we're gonna do a little audio playback and see if this motherfucker wants to auto-tune and shit with the vocoder. Alrighty, we're gonna do a little audio playback and see if this motherfucker wants to auto-tune and shit with the vocoder. Alrighty, we're gonna do a little audio Okay, playback. so you get, the, you get the gist of it. But basically the T-Pain effect is by far the easiest way you could possibly auto-tune. Only problem with the T-Pain effect is she's bloody expensive. I bought it, I think it was around maybe not two years ago I bought it and the only reason why I bought it was I was looking for a way to auto-tune with Sony Vegas for the vlogs and I found it it's by a company called Isotope and literally it installed the VST into Sony Vegas and it worked and then I discovered that Magic's Music Maker will also allow third-party VSTs so I installed it in there and that's probably the easiest way you can auto-tune uh, with that program I'm sure there's probably other ways that uh, other uh, artists use but uh, for a guy like me the T-Pain effect works wonders so but normally exactly how I showed you how to install the vocoder if you have the better version going up here to help update program and then download free synths packets that will work and I will show you that I did it and installed it as you can tell I already have a lot more song or options down here for uh, for sound libraries and as you can see here it says I even reinstalled it tonight to make sure and you can see that it is fully installed just doesn't work with this copy of magics well hopefully it works better on your end if it does right on and until next time guys peace the frig out